House calls for the Deputy Prime Minister of the government side. Here, here. everyone from breaking the law because he might be going to other some humiliation driving with that car with a sticker and our legislation was followed with the order and your in the process of maintaining order was sent to the legislation and this following this would further minimize any casualty 
For example, this man grew under the influence of alcohol, he would not see any pedestrian and then sideswipe them because he didn't see them earlier and then cause casualties. And then he would then pump into an aisle and then kill himself. This would. If the motion was followed, then the driver wouldn't have been driving under the influence of alcohol and this wouldn't have killed or injured the pedestrian who wasn't seen and this would have saved the life of the lucky jumper. <coughs> so, if the car was owned by a family, for example, a family sedan or anything used to you know, transport people. The original owner, which would be the parents, would be for the for can drive, maybe will warn or advise the drivers who would be their children to drive properly because they wouldn't even want they wouldn't want to drive with a sticker, a, a stick, a mark or labeled car which which would probably damage their image or family. So it's the responsibility of the parents to see to it that their children don't break laws and avoid this dishonor. on this because we are not only referring to the to the general public but we are also referring to the motorists we're just not only talking about the security of the people but also about the motorists because if this will be passed onto law then a lot of motorists will protest because of this law because as what our prime minister had just said uh, I'm sorry, leader of the opposition had just said um, accidents are inevitable. So the second point would be that they said that there will be, there will be zero tolerance. So we are not talking about we are not talking about here that there is no tolerance because if there will always be people who will break the law, and they said that drivers will be reminded. No, accidents are accidents. So no one is um, no. Uh, it is um, it is not something that people is obliged um, not to not to do or not to be happen. So they also refer about dignity. So dignity. We are not only referring this to the general public, but also to the people. We all, we are, dignity, we also are uh, dignity about the motorists, per se. So, they said, why scaring? What's with it? It does not mean if a person is scared, it doesn't mean also that they willn't break the law. Because it's a personal choice of the person. Since they knew that the driver is breaking, thus it would, since um, the general or the com uh, c commuters knew or knowledgeable that the driver has broken the law there is um, it then um, it is the cycle that with 
which will affect the 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 um sorry the monetary um, needs of the of the motorist. So your security is worse than our uh, than ours because what is what what you said earlier, Mr. Speaker, was not meaningful and does not have a lot of rebuttal to have. So uh, to begin with, I would first uh, point out our point for our for first argument. So, the label of the vehicles of drivers who repeatedly break traffic laws, we are also referring this to the public vehicles. So, I will point out what the uh, uh, leader of the opposition had said. So, monetary problem on um, business. So, if this will be passed on the law, then it will affect the standard of living of the motorists because we, um, because this is this will lead uh, let, let us assume uh, let us take that all of the commuters uh, the drivers need money so they need profit to earn a living so if this will pass into law many people will not um, ride on this jeepney because they are afraid so we in the driver if we are putting our perspective on the driver so it will affect his living the more he is already since he is already poor then he will become poorer because no one is riding his um his um jeepney so as we all know our country is experiencing a lot of um increase in gasoline prices so if this will pass into the law the the living of the people will also be affected yes. of the commuters rather because we know that prices of commodities are continually rising up. So, and all the people also need um, personal entertainment, and they could not attain that because they don't have extra money to have it. So, and goods, and among all others. And I would also like to point out the effect on the, on the family. So, we this point refers to the to the income of the family because less than so because. Because of this, if this legislation will be passed, then lesser and lesser profit will be, will be the driver to have. So, it will affect his family. So, it will, if he will be affected by this, he can no longer pay the taxes, which the taxes are very important for the development of our country. And if we don't have this, then a lot of people will, if we... If this legislation will be passed, then a lot of um, a lot of problems will come up in the in in the few um, the, uh, sorry. So the third point I would like to uh, stress is the economy. So if this will be passed into law, then economy will really be affected, Mr. Speaker, because money is um, because. As what our leader of the position had said, money is enough. So why why passing this uh, legislation if mon uh, if this is uh, money is already enough for that person or that driver commuters to 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 to, to once again um, money is enough. Rather, money is already enough. So. So we are also referring here about the rights of the rights of privacy. So this uh, this um, this legislation is not um, is negligible at this point of time because our country now is in in need of um, in need of in need of. Uh, there's a lot of problems. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>